On behalf of the provincial government, I want to personally thank the members of the Youth Vaping Advisory Council. The goal of the council has been to include youth voice in decision making. And you, young people, have powerful voices. And we're ready for them to take charge and lead our provincial initiatives aimed at increasing knowledge around the risks of vaping and help us reduce the number of young people who vape. We appreciate that young people know best what is going on in their age group. I'm proud of the work they've done and I'm excited to see what else they can accomplish when it comes to advising the province and supporting their peers. Vaping is not harmless, particularly in younger bodies and brains. The long-term health effects are still being studied and are unknown. Studies show us that youth vaping increased by an alarming 74% between 2017 and 18. Youth are smart, motivated, and very successful at multimedia communications. And we appreciate the leadership you're showing to make change today. Choices that are informed by the facts and not by advertisements or peer pressure are what we need. Right now, young people, I think, want a brighter future for our province. And I want to thank you, all the members of the Youth Vaping Advisory Committee Council, for all your work and all the work you're going to do to help reduce vaping in British Columbia and keep young people healthier and happier. One thing adults should know about youth's experience with vaping is that there are many factors that may influence a youth to vape. This can include family problems, mental health issues, and other stressful factors within their lives. Moreover, each individual's experience with vaping is vastly different. This is important to recognize instead of punishing or reprimanding youth in order to move towards addressing the root concerns behind their reasons to vape. The importance of being understanding and non-judgmental. It is important for parents and teachers to be understanding of the youth situation and what their underlying reasons for why they've decided to vape might be. It can be difficult to reach out for help. If adults let it be known how they would respond if they were asked for help regarding vaping, then that gives youth the opportunity to decide whether or not to reach out for support. One thing that adults can do to better support youth when it comes to vaping is to normalize seeking help. By making it more commonplace to talk about vaping, this can encourage more youth to reach out as they feel that they will receive less judgment. Schools should give students facts about vaping and resources that could help them to stop if they do vape. It would also be great if students who were trying to quit had a peer mentor to follow up with them. Be equipped with knowledge of resources for addressing vaping if someone reaches out for help. The reason I wanted to be part of the Provincial Council is because I'm interested in and improving the healthcare system and I wanted to share my ideas to see if I could help stop vaping or help others better understand it. I wanted to voice my concerns as well as provide solutions to issues within my community. I also wanted to participate in conversations that can impact policies and curriculum surrounding youth health and wellness.